Hey everyone, how's it going? It is Memory here, and this is going to be a pretty short video for you all, but also a very important one because we're actually going to be going over kind of the schedule for the spring season of anime, and I actually have some new announcements for you guys in terms of new shows, new non-seasonal shows that are going to be coming to the channel. But before we get into that, I just want to say the schedule is you know, starting to kind of take shape already as the new spring shows are coming out but it's not really going to be in full effect this schedule until the 15th of April you know just starting that week because we're gonna have all the, a lot of shows you know coming out full force this week we kind of started it last week of course but this week is when things start to really pick up you know so by the 15th that week of of the 15th of April Monday we'll you know have a good idea in, in the the schedule will be you know taking full shape I guess is is how I would put it so keep that in mind and for this week the, the week of the 8th of April, it's going to be how it's you know, normally been in terms of like the non-seasonals and some of the you know seasonal anime I've already picked up, but there are going to be some new ones being added to the list, of course, this week. So uh, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the schedule now. Here we go. Sundays, we have Attack on Titan, which actually doesn't start until the end of April. I think like the last week of April. But I did want to have that in there to let you guys know, yes, of course. I, I, it probably wasn't a surprise anyway that I'm going to be reacting to uh, Attack on Titan. Sundays, actually Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays are like my most busiest days at work. Like I usually have like an eight or nine hour shift, you know, each of those days. Uh, so I try not to stack the weekends as much with content on the channel. Like I try my best to. And Mondays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays are the days that I usually have off, you know, scheduled off for work. So that's why, as you can see, there's more shows uh, there than the weekends. And the max that I stick to for any day is three shows. Unless like just like a preview drops or a trailer or whatever the case may be. I usually try to stick to three shows max because just from past experiences and what I've taught myself, don't do too much in a day and, and limit yourself and don't overwork yourself because I've ended up you know getting burnt out in the past and went on like piatus is whether it was a week or two or just months I'm I've been doing this lately I don't know if you guys have noticed I usually stick to two or three shows a day and that's actually what's been the most ideal for me and has allowed me to you know keep pumping out these reactions and in, in, in covering these shows so uh, yeah continuing on now after that I did I feel like that was necessary to mention Mondays, we have Dororo still carrying over from the previous season. We have Kaiji and Yamada uh, there as well for the non-seasonal shows. Dororo, of course, the seasonal one. Like I mentioned, Kaiji and Yamada originally were on Tuesdays, but they are going to be sliding to Monday, kind of taking the place of Mob and Slime because those two shows are on Monday as well. So it you know, allows those spots to, to open up. Kaiji actually was originally on Monday like a while ago on the channel, and now it's back in that spot. So kind of cool. If I do say so myself. Moving on to Tuesdays, we have Ace of Diamond Act 2, or the third season, whatever you would like to say. I'm actually at this point not caught up on it, but I'm like 20 or so episodes away, and I do plan on covering all of the uh, Act 2 on the channel. And I just love this series so much, man. So many characters I love, of course, from Sado, but just from the other teams as well, like Raichi from, from Yakushi, uh, Sanada as well, of course, Mei. You, you can't go wrong with me. Like, there's just so many characters from the even the opposing teams that, that I like. And baseball is one of my favorite sports just of all time. It's probably second to, to basketball. So when I was going into this series, I was like, I'm going to love it. I'm going to love it. And I'm going to try and catch up you know, my best for the next season to cover it on the channel. And that's exactly what I'm doing. And that's why it's here in the schedule for Tuesday. So we have Ace of Diamond. One Punch Man season two, which is going to be pretty pretty interesting to see how that goes in terms of like the reactions, not just from me, but just from everyone in, in general. But I, I'm trying to stay as positive as I can. I, I told you guys about that before in the seasonal lineup video. I'm going to stay as positive as I can. I don't think it's going to be like the worst thing ever, but it obviously isn't going to touch season one. It's not going to be like a masterpiece. I just feel like, but we'll see. We'll see. It hasn't even started yet. Uh, next up, we have a new uh, non-seasonal excuse me, anime coming, as you guys can see. Or well, maybe you don't know the series, but it's called Jormungan. And it looks like a really, really fun, uh, high-paced kind of action series. It's two seasons. We'll be reacting to both the seasons on the channel. And this actually comes in from Patreon. So that'll be on Tuesdays as well for our first new non-seasonal show. On Wednesdays, Wednesdays are actually not changing at all. We have Shield Hero still carrying over from the previous season, and we have Yona of the Dawn, um, our non-seasonal, another non-seasonal. Yona has always been on Wednesdays, staying on Wednesdays along with Shield Hero. 
Thursday we have Car Curry Circus carrying over and another new uh, seasonal anime that I'll be adding is Sara and Zenmai which I was kind of bouncing around the idea in my head of if I wanted to react to this or not but with it being my first eco horror work that I'm going to watch, it, is, it, it being 11 episodes, and just from the premise, it sounds really out there. It sounds really fun, honestly. I just, I really think it's going to be a good experience, you know, for my first eco horror work, and, and I want to have that on the channel. So that was kind of my reasoning behind that. And then another new non-seasonal we have, which is actually the the second one, we have Higurashi or When They Cry. Now. This, man, like, on the outside, it looks like a cute, you know, kind of, just, you wouldn't think nothing about it type of show. We have a lot of shows like that, you know, nowadays, but, like, I mean, look at the picture I have in this schedule, man. Like, this shit looks scary, yo. <laughs> and, and I'm not too well-versed with the horror genre. I maybe watched, like, a handful of, of horror anime, actually, like, maybe five to ten. So, I, I feel like the, the reactions for this series are going to be, like, I don't even know. I, I don't even really know what to expect, honestly, but I do plan on covering Higurashi in all of its entirety, not just like the first season or something like that, then stopping. I, I want to you know do it fully. And this also is coming uh, through Patreon. So Joe Mungin and Higurashi are two new shows coming over from Patreon to the channel. So look forward to, to that for sure. Moving on to Fridays now, we have JoJo, the JoJo Greatness Part 5. Not going anywhere. Why would it? Uh, so we have JoJo, of course, Bungo Stray Dogs Season 3, which, oh my god, Fridays are just looking so lit, right? Because I did add Fruits Basket. Originally, I didn't plan on reacting to Fruits Basket, but I do want to do that now. I put up my reaction for Episode 1, so we have Fruits Basket, JoJo Part 5, and Bungo Stray Dogs Season 3 on a Friday, man. Like, the, the, the Friday's looking like probably the best day, honestly, in, in, in my opinion, just, you know, just going off of it right now. Uh, I'm really looking forward to, to, to Fridays, man. JoJo has been there, but I'm talking about Stray Dogs and, and Fruits Basket more so. Uh, and JoJo's go getting into kind of the final stretch, so that's going to be wild. And then Saturdays, finally, we have Demon Slayer, Kometsu no Yaiba, and We Never Learn, which those have already came out. So probably not a surprise you guys you know, now seeing this on, on the schedule. And this is actually what it's going to be for the time being. Now, there is one show that I probably am going to add. It just really depends on if a good fan subgroup. I'm hoping Essentially picks it up, honestly. And that show is Carol and Tuesday, and that's going to be on Netflix. If, if Essentially are just a good subgroup that, that I can trust... Uh, picks it up. I will be reacting get to Carol on Tuesday on the channel. I just can't really say what day it's going to be yet because I don't know when it's going to come out. Because you know, it, I think it airs actually in Japan on a Wednesday, but we may not get a good translation until Thursday, Friday. Who you know, who knows what it may be. So I can't really you know fit it into the schedule. You know, but I do plan on reacting to Carol on Tuesday as well. So we got a good mix of, of seasonals and non-seasonals. I think we have five total non-seasonals now uh, on the channel. So I, I like that's something I've always liked doing is, is having some you know older series that I've been wanting to get to for a while. Recommendations from you guys as well in terms of like the non-seasonals on the channel, and we got like five of those. So I would consider that a, a pretty good amount. We also have four shows continuing on from previous seasons, along with the new spring anime coming in. So we're right around I would say like little over 10 in terms of just seasonal anime that we're covering plus the five non-seasonal so we're right around 15 shows total you're covering on the channel and this is subject to change there may be shows that fall out of here shows that i end up dropping or shows i may pick up like i said like a carol and tuesday maybe philosopher's grandson you never know right if, if a series is buzzing if you guys a lot of people are in my comments saying react to this react to this react to this react to this like you guys have done in the past and i may hop on it but this is what we have for now this is what i'm going to stick to for the time being uh let me know what you guys think of the schedule and the new series coming to the channel excited of course for another season of anime and just you know reactions on the channel and all that and in, in, in the content so that about does it for this update video i hope you guys did enjoy it if you did enjoy it make sure you drop a like Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching. Peace out.